Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. Back to town here. Let's go talk to Gantz. Once we get to Gantz, uh, an automatic sequence will take place. Yep. <laughs> the bridge is now unblocked, as you can see. What a chump. Seriously, it actually was him, so let's just go. You automatically walk. <laughs> Surely you just. <laughs> Having a duel. Make a break for it, Sue! Oh, God. <laughs> we made it. All the regular things you do are bad. Hey, hey how's Justin. it going? Yes. Ow! Mom! What did I do? How many times do I have to tell you? No dirty shoes in the kitchen. Even so, you don't have to hit me with your tray. Don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Seagull Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have work to do. Out you go. My little troublemaker. You could You actually have a parent. Hello, wow. Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get stupid. Assuming he's not already. <laughs> Justin's brain can't get any worse than it already is. Well then. Mom, that was uh sure. excessive. How could you say such things about your only darling son? I don't know. <laughs> Well, why don't you just be good, question. good so I don't have to, hmm, Justin? Yeah, go out and I save the world or something. All day today. Be remotely useful. Be a JRPG character. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, did we talk to her again? Getting in trouble. Okay, alright, um, you know what, getting mad, it, it gives you wrinkles, so, you know, you gotta be calm, and, uh, ow, ow, even though she barely looks like she's 20, but, eh, she could probably pass for 30 or so, I don't know how old she, she, uh, she's supposed to be, been busy since morning, all day, had a lot of things to do. Um, forgot. It's been so long. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you have to say the third option, but those other two options are amusing, so uh, I figured why not do them. Ask Sue. You, you gotta believe me. Yeah. Well, not nearly as bad as the day before yesterday. Yeah, no matter what you say, you, you get hit with the tray. So, uh, here's another interesting thing with Grandia. Um, I think this is in Grandia 2 as well, but I think they removed it in Grandia 3. But anyway, um, you have these little dinner sequences where you eat. And you can talk to your party members, and occasionally there's like a different character around, like uh, in this case we have Lily. Um, Justin is how you end it, but it won't let you end it unless you've talked to people to get certain lines of dialogue. So, let's get through. Um, I don't have it memorized how many times I need to talk to a particular person, but... 
So, we gotta talk to Sue here, apparently. Oh. His dad's on the wall, huh? Yeah. Do they explain? I don't think they ever explain what happened to his dad, actually, now that I think about it. I might have forgotten, but... I didn't pay too much uh, attention to the plot the second time through. Talk to... Oh, Spirit Stone, huh? Aboard a ship? A quiet night on the sea. Uh-oh! Pirates took over! So apparently his mother was a pirate. Okay. No go telling the neighbors. Pretty much all know anyway. Yep, see, sometimes it'll start repeating. So apparently she can kick some ass too, but unfortunately she's not a party member. If you want your mother as a party member, gotta play Grandia 3 and then be annoyed at what happens a quarter of the way through the game, but whatever. So yeah, when you're done, just say you're full, boom, be done with it. Yeah, it's gonna take us like, might even take us three episodes to get out of town, to be honest. In fact, it probably will. <laughs> so we end up in Justin's room here and we got a few items we can get. Uh, there should be three items. Should be some money. Uh, that's going to be a hundred G. Uh, I guess it's gold. I'm not entirely sure. This should be a first aid kit. Yes. And around the pipe is going to be a poison antidote. I think it's actually on the bed. I'm not sure. I forget. But anyway, those are the three items you can get. Uh, poison antidote cures poison, obviously. I don't use it that much um, because there is very limited inventory space in this game. I suppose I should show that. Um, yeah, you can each hold uh, 12 items apiece. You can have four party members, so inventory management really sucks in this game. Fortunately, what you have equipped does not count as inventory, so it's not as bad as it is in Earthbound, but it's still pretty bad. Um, Sue over there, by the way, uses uh, bows and maces, whereas Justin gets uh, swords, axes, and maces. I think you can examine. Oh, apparently his granddad was the adventurer too. So was his great grandfather. But uh, anyway, we can store some things. Let's do that immediately. We want to store those armors we got because, yeah, you can't sell key items. You can't discard them. So just get rid of them. Store them forever, basically. Fortunately, storage space is completely infinite, so that's fine. Don't store the wooden sword, but I will want to store it later. Like I said, I want to use it for now. We can get better weapons here, but they cost too much. Now, here's another thing you can do here. If you, you can say, you can compliment her, and if you do it three times, you get one gold. Uh, believe it or not, I want to repeat that five times. Um, why? Because I'm five gold short of what I want to buy. Um, now, this takes a while, so I'll be doing it off screen, and by a while, I mean like two minutes. But I don't think there's any reason for me to show you, but just so you know, once you reset the room, you can uh, get it again by saying it three times. 
Be careful not to say the first choice or you'll redo the uh, dinner dialogue. Okay, so I'll be back once I get 5G, so I gotta do it three more times. Okay, uh, I did the trick three more times, got the money that I want, but I'm not gonna buy stuff yet. We wanna cross the bridge again and head over to house two. So yeah, you need uh, however much money I have here. You need uh, 305 gold pieces, so I guess it is gold. I believe this is house two, yes. We gotta go upstairs. Uh, there's a side quest we can actually start. Uh, there aren't too many side quests in the game. There's like three optional areas and uh, a few minor side events throughout the game. Uh, this is one of the side events that you can do. This guy's writing a letter. You keep talking to him and eventually he'll tell you about Clara and we can... Uh, Get a letter to Clara. And eventually if we end up in New Parm, maybe we can actually uh <laughs> I do have an ulterior motive. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, we'll deliver it to Clara eventually, if we ever go to New Parm. couple other things we can do is uh, we need to head towards the train station in the south side of town. Uh, one thing to note about this game is that uh, it is not really chapter based but it, it kind of like area chapter ish based. Um, you lose access much like in say Arcana uh, the NES game. You lose access to certain areas as you go through the game and yeah you pretty much have like a hub and I can go to areas around it, but uh, it's pretty bad. Um, oh, that's the exit. Yeah, it's really easy to leave town on accident. We can go to the Marna Road now if we want, but we don't want to do that. There should be somebody... Oh, right here. Oh, no. Not... Is it... Her? Her? Sure, we gotta agree to find uh, her her uh, pendant here. Um, where is the train station here? I believe we wanna go talk to the. Is this Marie? No. That's. The Seven Wonders of Parm. Care about that. That's the museum we're going into, the green building, but I'm looking for the train station. I find it very difficult to navigate the. Uh... Oh, this is the train station. Are you Murray? for her mother. You can find Marie's mother around somewhere, and I forget where she is. I may have to edit out till I find her. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, I believe I found her. Um, from the train station, go over here. Here she is. So, yeah. You talk to her, then you talk to Marie, and you find out about the thing, and you gotta look for it. Whoops, um, I forgot, the, uh, yeah, so she dropped it near the museum, so the museum is actually over here. Near this green guy, you'll find, um, right, well, let's see if the curator has anything, but here it is, yeah, it's right there you find the pen. So it is near, uh, this guy with the green jacket, it's a little bit, kind of, Northeastish of them, so 
Now you can go return that to, uh... Actually, let's talk to her mother first. Uh, that's not her mother. <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> it's, it's this lady over here. No, it's not. Okay. No, I think it was her. She just, for some reason, didn't respond to it. No. Oh, it's her. Eh, whatever. Just talk to Marie. Anyway, Marie will give you... I think she gives you a wound salve. No? Does the mother give you a wound salve? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there she is. For some reason, I always struggle to find her. I don't know why. I think because a lot of the NPCs look so identical to each other, it gets kind of blended in in my mind here. But anyway, that's all we can do for the little side events, so... Let's go into the museum now. We'll go through these events. Something about Icarians with, uh, Spirit Stone. Huh. So that's a myth, huh? Well, legends tend to be true in JRPGs, so we'll see. <laughs> Let's go a little long so we can, uh, maybe get out of town for the next episode. Where I'll have to promptly tutorialize a little bit. Oh, he just finished restoring the statue. Uh, interesting. Looks very good. Pretty abstract there. Huh. Well, maybe we'll go to the Dom Ruins one of these days. Are you guys uh, done? Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Sue. Just a minute. You can't tell? Interesting. Harder than diamonds, huh? Can't even analyze it. Well, I'm sure it's just a regular stone. We're probably overthinking things. Now, um, we can actually store that, by the way. Uh, it's a key item. But the weird thing about this game is that key items, examine the statue by the way, um, can be stored and the game will still count it as if it's in your inventory, which is kind of odd, but it saves us space, so whatever. You probably shouldn't touch that. You're an idiot, Justin. All I gotta do is move the head and put the... Uh, uh, the wing... Okay. Yeah. Sure. That's that. Yeah, um, sure, Justin. Sure. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. Can we read these? Hmm. 
I think these are like the only bookshelves in the game you can actually read. I really can't. Well, whatever. Let's just go. Then we'll do some shopping and call it an episode. Well, I guess we should just be honest. I broke the statue. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's just a joke. Don't worry about it, curator. Uh. Then we get a letter of introduction. Be going to the salt ruins, apparently. Cool. We get to take Sue with us. I am going to spoil something regarding Sue on the next episode, but I really need to in order to uh, prepare for things, so, or to prep, uh, to, well, prep you guys, or get you guys to be prepped or whatever, prepared, or how you should be developing your characters. There, that's better. No, we shouldn't. Yeah, he'll, uh... He'll murder us, so... Shopping time! So here's the general store. Now, shopping is a bit weird in this game. Um, to sell items, you actually talk to the cashier person, which is a bit odd in and of itself. And then we have our item shop, weapon shop, armor shop, so, uh, take a look at the items, but I'm not going to buy any. So, um, yeah. I don't care about buying any of that. Here we go. So, uh, the weapons, I'll just show them off, but I don't plan to buy them. Yeah, the sword's better, but who cares? Uh, the bat's better, but who cares? And the hand darts are better. They're a long-range weapon for Sue. Uh, her throwing weapons. Uh, she can use either these dart-type weapons, basically shurikens, or bows, but uh, that stuff is just way too expensive for what you get out of it. So instead, let's buy the armor. Which I think we want to buy using the trade option. Yes. So essentially, we have... Well, we can buy things. Um, first things first, buy the air sneakers. They are incredible. Uh, you see that 48 movement? Uh, movement determines how far you can move in battle. Uh, essentially, characters will... Uh, typically, when you're doing your normal basic attacks, you move around the battlefield, and if you run out of movement, you waste your turn. Um, the air sneakers have such an insane amount of movement, they're totally worth buying. I, I want to get one of them for Justin and one for Sue. Now I'm trading because what trading will do is it'll automatically sell the equipped uh, piece of armor that I have there on that slot, so that's pretty good. Uh, air sneakers are probably my favorite piece of equipment in the game because we'll be using them for the entirety of disc one and even parts of disc two, so it is really, really good. I want to get these leather gloves. They're slightly better for Justin, so why not? And they're also slightly better for Sue, so we'll buy those as well. And for Sue, we can also get this uh, ribbon. Now, you see, I didn't actually have the 40G to buy it outright, but because I traded it, I had enough money to. 
That's why I trade. And as you can see, I have just barely enough money to buy all that. Which is why I did the 5G farm from Lily there. Not really that relevant, but it helps. It just saves me a bit of time, so I don't have to, like, fight one battle. I mean, I could have passed on the ribbon, but why not pick it up? Now we can stash the uh, letter to Clara, even though, again, even though when we eventually get to Clara, or Clara, I hope you want to pronounce it, but um, the game will still count it as if it's in our inventory at the right time anyway, so we can store the Spirit Stone, and again, the intro letter, we can store that, even though logically that doesn't make any sense. But whatever. I mean, I'm gonna store that banana because it does not do much at all. Eh, I should probably bring out, keep out that banana because it's it'll only be useful right now. But there we go. The sweets are even worse apparently. So now we can head over to the uh, to the Marna Road. Uh, road. Now, in towns, by the way, you can save at the end, wherever the end is. So, let's go ahead and save the game. And uh, next time, we'll head to the Marna Road, and I'll go over the combat mechanics of the game. So, yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.